Hey, good morning, guys. I don't know where you are in your day, but I hope your day is going well. Um, it may not be morning for you, but I hope your day is going well. I have a word for you. Um, the Lord brought me to Psalm 56.3, reminded me of Psalm 56.3. It says, but when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. This is a word for someone who has come up against something or will come up against something, even if it does not apply to you right now. Um, if you're watching this, it will apply to you. There's something that's going to come up against you. I don't know if it's going to be in finances, um, something that is going to um, test your trust in God, not your faith so much, but your trust. Um, and God wants you to know that with every level in your life, you go from level to level to level with every level in your life. It requires a refreshing of your trust in him, a refreshing of your faith in him, a refreshing in pretty much every area of your life spiritually. And so, I mean, that's with holiness. It, refri it requires a refreshing of holiness, righteousness, um, well, holiness, um, your uh, prayer time, your work. I mean, it requires a refreshing, a renewal. And for you to go up a level when you go up a level, if that makes sense. And so you are going to be faced or or have already been faced with this challenge. And God is saying, it's not that your faith is not good. Your faith is not working. And it's not that you don't trust in him, but you trusted in him and you had faith in him for the level you were on. And now that you're on a different level, it almost feels like you're a new Christian, that you don't even know God, that God is not with you. Why am I struggling with faith? Why am I struggling with believing that you're going to do this for me? Why am I struggling with believing that you're going to heal me, heal my parents, heal my child? Why am I struggling with this when I know you're good, when you have been with me from the beginning, when I've grown in you? And God is saying you have to level up your faith and level up your trust in him when you are afraid, when you're feeling like God is may not do it, and you're trying to figure out why am I feeling this way? I know you're good. I know you're good. I know you love me. You have to level up. And this requires more prayer time. And not just sitting there talking to the Lord, but it requires you to consecrate yourself. With every level, not only are there new devils and there's new challenges, but you there is a requirement that is of you. A requirement um, of your diligence, of your sacrifice. And we have to be willing to meet the level, the requirement in us, not just we want more, we want to, you know, we want to slay demons, we want <clears throat> to set captives free, and we want to be used by God, but we have to level up. We have to level up. Ask God what that means for you. If you are not a praying woman, man, if you're not praying and you're not spending time praying in the Holy Ghost, if you're not spending time in the word of God, digesting it, eating it up, eating it, eating it, eating it, not just reading a few scriptures, eating it, eating it, eating it. Sometimes it's not so much of an understanding. You don't need to study the Bible so much. Sometimes God is just asking you to eat it and it will be alive in you. It will be in you alive in you you be and you will be able to pull from that bank that you that you have in reserve when you need it so this is just a word for you i'm dealing with it myself this is not me telling you something that i don't know what i'm talking about the lord revealed this to me the issues and the problem that i'm having and i could not figure it out excuse my voice i could not figure it out and god explained to me what that is It's not good enough to just have a devotional every day. Spend time with the Father. Consecrate your time. Lock yourself in a room. Worship music. Worship. Not praise and, and um, not praise, but um, uh, uh, like this religious music. Get some anointed music. And you sit and you soak in the presence of God. Not to receive anything, but to get closer to him. I love you guys. And I hope this word resonates well with you whether it applies to you now or or soon i pray that it is received by you and that god cultivates the word and makes it more plain to you 
as your day goes on, as your month goes on and brings it back when it, when it is needed. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.